Hello, hello. I'm Fox, the education lead at Losant. Losant provides the building blocks an enterprise would need when bringing an IoT solution to production. Today, we're going to talk about one of those building blocks, systems. Systems enable you to create a digital twin within Losant. We describe a digital twin as a digital replica of a living or non-living physical entity, like a stadium or an office building. Overall, this feature helps you make sense and ask new questions of complex environments within Losant. Let's dive in. Systems are a special device within Losant. They function as a grouping mechanism to describe the relationship between your devices and their data. For example, if you were building a smart environment application, you might place devices in meeting locations to determine occupancy or the number of people within the room. In environments like this, each room would be represented as a device within Losing. While building these types of applications, we'll have to ask ourselves questions like, how many people are in each room? How many people are on this floor? In order to answer these questions effectively, we need a model of our devices that describes how the rooms are related to the floors and how the floors are related to the buildings and so on. Let's take a look at what this would look like in Losant using the Huddle Room Monitor template. Right from within Losant, we can represent our devices that are measuring occupancy and our floor and building, which are represented as system devices within Losant. This model describes how data propagates from the lowest levels of your system to the very top. For example, these devices are measuring occupancy within a room. They're represented as standalone devices within Losant. All of these devices are located on the same floor. The floor is the non-physical entity of the digital twin we can now present within our application alongside our physical devices. Within this tree structure, the floor is the parent and the devices are the children. When we want to ask the question of how many people are on this floor, the value is the sum of all the occupancy counts of all the devices that are on the floor. Due to this tree structure, the same concept applies when we build on the tree. We can aggregate multiple floors into a building and multiple buildings into a campus. As the children devices report data, the data for system devices is automatically calculated by Losan. And best of all, now that the entire floor is represented as a device within Losan, this means you can act on it within a workflow, visualize it within a dashboard, present this information to your users, and so much more. To wrap things up, with systems, you have a mechanism to properly model your physical environment, define how data is propagated through the model, and build on top of this model within your IoT applications. That's all for this time. Until next time, stay connected.